Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're gonna be doing Eternity of Pain week number two, and I chose to use Havoc for the mutant objective. All right, now, full disclosure, I tried Archangel with the RNG, it works. But I tried a few times and the RNG was just not with me. And then I had to uh, make sure that I pinned him in the corner and it was just a lot to deal with, all right? Um, and in the tries I got, I don't think I ever did more than like 30% of his health at one time. Then I tried Kitty and it was with the same results. The best that I did was about 30%, okay? Um, both of them can work. Kitty works really well. You just have to learn to play her. You can phase if she's awakened. You can phase and um, phase out that power detonation. All right? Now, I'm going to show you a strategy. The strategy that I use, and I call it the... I'm not trying to get a solo because I already got a solo before. I just want to get this done. Strategy. Think I'm going to trademark that. All right. But anyway, what I'm talking about, and you'll see it, uh, is you'll notice that I got a power detonation on me. Now, with a mutant, you don't want to use light attacks, so you're going to give him a whole bunch of energize, and it's not going to be a good time for you. All right. So you want to use mediums, and you'll notice that all throughout these fights, I'm using mediums. Mediums. There was one time I used um, lights, and it wasn't a good day. All right. So you want to use mediums to hit into his block, to back him up, get space, and to give him some power. Also, if you hit him with a medium, that's gonna give him more power, but you are gonna get that power detonation on you, okay? So here's what my strategy is, and you're gonna see it in a minute, because Havoc has one of the most powerful special threes. All right, here, look at that, boom. His protection was down, I started spamming my special three. I let the power detonations explode on me, but I got a special three in. And look at that, 85% of his health. I mean, not 85%, but you know, 15% of his health. But he's down to 84, 83 now, okay? And I'm thinking at this point, all right, even if I mess up at this point, I don't think I'm gonna use more than five revives. I'm good with that. I've got revives that uh, are expiring. I had to sell a bunch of them. I got a bunch in my overflow. May as well start using them, right? And this is a perfectly good use. So here you see me again, building up to a special three. I got smacked up, but that's okay. You know what? Got me to a special three faster. And he still had his protection down. And I started spamming that special. Now look at this. I got two special threes off he's down to 65 percent now i'm not going to survive but that is acceptable 65 percent on the first try that's good i like that okay so at this point i should and i didn't do it um i should have been firing off some of those specials i'm running suicides if you're not running suicides um, you'll have an easier time, okay? Uh, it'll take perhaps a little bit longer, but you'll have an easier time with this fight. But because I'm running suicides, I accept that I'm gonna have to heal and, and revive when I might not have had to if I weren't running suicides. Not everybody likes that, but I don't like long fights. So I would rather do what you just saw me do a few times, get it done, than to switch out of my suicides, learn how to fight with Professor X, um, take maybe another 40, 50 minutes, and it's, it's just a mess, okay? But that's what I mean when I talk about my strategy. Very simple, you know, go into the, you know, get the openings after his special one or a heavy, I didn't try doing a heavy attack, um, uh, countering his heavy with a heavy because sometimes I'm a little bit too slow um, and he clobbers me. So I don't want to do that. Um, what I want to do is build up to a special three. 
I don't care about power detonation because I'm not trying to survive the fight. I'm trying to get as many special threes in as I can. Okay, that's it. That's the main strategy. Now, uh, as you're watching me do this, and there's one that I do mess up. And if you'll notice, I keep parrying. Some of those are just mistakes. I'm trying to back off and I'm a little too slow and it reads as a parry. That's what's happening there. Cause I don't want to parry and I'm not trying to parry him. But a lot of times you see that quick attack and I'll dash back and it'll be a parry because I was just a little too slow on my dash back. But it is what it is. All right, so here we go, boom. And he's getting to a special three, boom. And I just repeat that over and over. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all something. You may see me glancing over every once in a while. This is the second time I'm doing the voiceover narration. Because for some reason, OBS decided to stop recording in the middle of my recording. It recorded like the first minute, a minute and a half, and then it just stopped. And I'm like, are you kidding me? It's already late right now. It's after 11 o'clock at night. I got this done earlier, but I'm having to do this twice now. Right now, the video should be rendering and I should be ready to upload it and all that good stuff. But I have to do this over again, but it's all good. All right, so you see there, this one was just bad. I'm like, oh my goodness, you know? Can I even get, you know, he's not even close to a special. I'm at a special three. I should have been able to counter that one. I'm lucky he didn't hit me there because that would have been the fight over, okay? And then that parry didn't want to do that. And I'm just like, come on, let me, let me get this. And I hit into him and I'm so happy he didn't do that. He didn't uh, counter me. All right, boom, we got one off, one off. That was ugly, but I don't think that was even the ugliest one. I don't, I, I can't remember exactly. But as long as I get at least one special three off, I'm doing some good damage. But again, you know, he just started smacking me up. I, I was pretty sure I wasn't gonna make another, but at this point I should have fired a special one off or something, you know? But I didn't, I got the protection down, but then I didn't have enough time because after he throws a special, he puts that heal block on you. I'm running suicide, so I take full suicide damage. Heal block, ugly. They did that to mess with us suicide users. I know they did. So now he just throws on a heal block in case you're running suicide, so you start taking extra damage from those. But I said, I don't care. I'm, I don't care. I'd rather deal with that than to turn my suicides off. Yes, I'm a dedicated suicide user. All right. Um, but in any case, the strategy again is to just keep using medium attacks. You know, not, you know, try not to parry him like that, but just keep hitting mediums. And then I went into him. This is the one that was ugly. It was uglier than the one that just happened before. You saw that. You know, parried when I didn't want to parry. Then I jumped into him before he ran out of his uh, unstoppable, then parried again. And I'm like, am I getting tired or something? It is late, but maybe I'm slowing down. What's going on, you know? So I'm just like, all right, all right. Let's try to get off one more special three. Now, if I was thinking right, and again, there was another parry. See, I, I don't know what's going on at this point. And then he just knocked me out. And I was just like, okay. Either I'm just getting really sleepy or I was having some major control problems. I think I was just getting really sleepy and I was a little sluggish. Of course, running into him when he still had unstoppable, that was all me. But those parries, I don't know. I really don't know. See, parry right off the bat. And I'm like, okay, that's not what I wanted to do, but it's what I did. So I'm like, all right, Look at him, he's aggressive. He is so aggressive. And I'm like, come on, back off like you were doing before. We need space, give me space. Back, back off. I ain't like that, get, get away from me. All right, now here you see what I was telling you earlier. I used a bunch of light attacks 
and he's now got four energized. So he's gonna get crazy power. So you don't wanna do that. And there's another parry. And here I am in the corner and I'm like, oh, come on. Fortunately, he ran, the unstoppable ran out. So I'm like, okay, good. And he's got, he's down to 30% health. Cool, cool. Firing that heavy off, cool. Oh, he intercepted me. Seriously, seriously, he intercepted me. And I'm in the corner, I'm like, okay, what am I supposed to do here? All right, back up, back up, back up. All right, back up. He's got the special. All right, we gotta get at least one special off here to make it worth something. There we go. Oh, just had just enough. Spam, 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 spam that special. And we got it. All right, so again, that's the main goal. That's the whole strategy is to try to get to that special three. He's down to 14% health. Bam! Down to 7% health. And I'm like, ooh, I might be able to do a little something, something with that. You know? So I'm like, all right, all right. We got this. We got this. All right? And then I do this. The protection is down. I should have fired a special one here. I didn't. And then I said, okay, you know what? Let's try something. Right there, I should have done a special. I didn't. All this time, that would have killed him. Right there, that would have killed him. I must have been tired. I failed to kill him right there. So I deserve to, to need another um, uh, revive. Because that, I should have been able to finish him off. That special two, his protection was down. All I needed to do was hit him. Bop, bop, fire the special off. He would have been done, but I didn't. So now I'm just, I know I got him and I'm getting excited. I just throw on some um, health potions that I was sick of looking at because I'm pretty sure I don't need full health to finish him off with 4% health, okay? But you never know. He might intercept me and blah, 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 and I'm dead, all right? So I'm like, all right, cool. All right, now I should have been able to do that and it would have been over quickly if I countered that heavy with my heavy, but I didn't because as I said earlier, um, every time I tried that and I was a little slow, he clobbered me. All right, here we go. Goodness, boom. All right, now he's starting. And I did this too early. The special one was not unblockable yet because I didn't have enough um, of the prowess. All right, but look at this. Die, 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 boom. And that, my friends, is how you do this challenge with Havoc and not worry about any crazy um, strategies. Just get it done. Those few uh, revives, well worth it. Keep your eyes on the prize, see what you're gonna be getting and determine whether it's worth it, all right? To me, this was much more fun and much easier than Archangel, than Kitty Pride, than Professor X. This one, loved it, okay? Um, it just cost me a few free revives and some health potions. I still gotta claim uh, some more health potions, in fact. Uh, so that'll be making a little bit of space for me. All right, but that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully this helps you out a little bit. All right, take care. Okay, yep, we are still um, recording. All right, take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, if it helps you. Leave a comment. Notice that I was using a five-star Havoc. I wish I had the six-star. But you can do it with a five-star. Okay? But take care, and you all have a blessed day.